This is Smart Trend News. I'm Stephanie Shu. Iraq is finally moving toward a new inclusive government after eight months of political deadlock. The New York Times is reporting that Iraqi officials have come to a tentative agreement on Thursday to create a unified government in which Nouri al-Maliki will return to his post as prime minister for a second term. Maliki's primary rival, Ayad Alawi, has conceded to the deal to take on the position of Speaker of Parliament, as well as head of a new committee overseeing national security. Alawi's party, which narrowly won the most number of seats in the country's March elections, had originally refused to join the current government, saying it would not relent if Alawi was not prime minister. The new deal will also leave Jalal Talabani, a Kurdish leader, as president, creating a compromise in which all major Iraqi ethnic and sectarian groups will hold representation in office, with Alawi representing the Shiites, as well as the Sunni Arabs who backed him. Masoud Barzani, the president of the semi-autonomous Kurdish region, said, quote, What was accomplished was a great achievement and a victory for all Iraqis. Even though it came late and with regrets, it is considered a first step to a new beginning. For more news and updates, stay tuned. You're watching Smart Trend News. I'm Stephanie Shu.